So we are back again with another video and today we'll be talking about transfers and lots of different things including Jean Laporta being elected as Barcelona president and how that will affect transfer. Also news on Alex Lacazette's imminent departure to Roma which could be happening this summer as his contract is set to expire next year. First bit of news is on Hector Bellerin now. Hector Bellerin, this is some huge breaking news because as Jean Laporte has been elected Barcelona president, that means he wants, you know, obviously we've talked about in many previous episodes of this before that Jean Laporte wants Bar um, Bellerin at Barcelona. Now, obviously, as we know, he's been elected. So is it going to be the fact that um, Barcelona do go back in for Hector Bellerin and try and sign him in the summer? Now, at the right back position, they signed Serginio Des last summer as their only transfer. And they signed them for around 20 odd million pounds and they don't really have another right back as his replacement so if Hector Bellerin were to be moving to the new camp he'd be playing second fiddle to Serginio Dest or maybe they'd be fighting it both out for the top spot but I think Hector Bellerin would probably want his move back to Barcelona because he wanted out last summer but Mikel Arteta said that he wants him for another year and then he will allow him to leave it this summer, this upcoming summer. So what sort of price are we looking for Hector Bellerin? It would be in the region of 25 to 30 million pounds is my understanding. I don't think we'd get much less for that. I don't think we'd get much higher than that. And to be honest, for the player that we think he is, that's not a bad price if I'm honest. That's a really good price for someone like um, you know, Hector Bellerin because we don't like him and we need him out of here quickly so we can try and fund the transfers for some of the right backs we've been linked with including Tarek Lamptey. Max Aaron, Zachary Fakimi, you know, players like that. And I think as soon as, you know, he gets out the door, the better. And uh, let's see if Jean Laporta makes a bid for Bellerin in the summer. You know, obviously he's a homegrown from the La Masia Academy. So obviously that homegrown quarter, uh, quota, it fits with Barcelona as well um, because of the system. And it uh, looks like that's something Jean Laporta wants to do over there at Barcelona. And it uh, gets Bellerin off our hands. So that's very good. And that's the news on Hector Bellerin and that he could be on his way to Barcelona this summer. Next bit of news is on Matteo Guendouzi. As the reports are suggesting um, in the last week or so, and Mikel Arteta is suggesting that he has no plans for Guendouzi moving forward and that he is, he's got no future with the club and that he's already played his last game for Arsenal. Now, Matteo Guendouzi, in my opinion, he's a player that, for me, has been pretty good. You know, you know, he's been pretty good, but his attitude problems are not that good. Hertha Berlin's manager described him as a, um, his attitude problem as one of a teenage boy, which is actually quite disappointing because, you know, look, or a child going through puberty i think he said and the thing is a Matteo Guendouzi the man has so much quality you know in the midfield he'd probably he'd probably be one of our best midfielders if he were to come back into our team that's the thing but the other side to it is that he, his attitude problem isn't that great and i think for Arteta being a disciplinarian or whatever it's not going to work very well in the system and i just think it, i'm at that point now where Look, if it's not going to work with Guendouzi, just get rid of him. Just, just get rid of him for 25 to 30 million pounds. And the reported price tag that has been going around for Guendouzi is 25 million. And to be fair, that does represent a really good profit for us because we did sign him for around 8 million quid. So we're getting 25 million, which is going to be very good for us. And, you know, I really want him to stay and see how he does with the season with the likes of Thomas Partey next to him because Thomas Partey. It's such a big experienced player and maybe he could help nurture Guendouzi if he were to play him next to him and I think that could work very well but it looks like he has no plans um, you know Arteta under you know Guendouzi under Arteta and I just don't think he's been managed very well either by Arteta and maybe even Emery as well because he was overplayed a lot so maybe that got into Guendouzi's head but that's going to get into anyone's head if I'm really honest and yeah Guendouzi it looks like his time at Arsenal is over it's very unfortunate because he's not done too bad out there in Hertha Berlin and yeah he's had you know he's had attitude problems wherever he's gone so it looks like his Arsenal future is over as reports are suggesting that Mikel Arteta says that he has no plan no future with Guendouzi in it so that's the news on that and the reported fee is set to be 25 million pounds of news is on Alex Lacazette as reports are suggesting he is being linked to Roma and a deal for him is getting closer and closer as he does edge out an Arsenal exit in the summer. Now he does have a year and a half left on his deal and that does go down to a year in the summer and then he'll be out of deal and we don't want to go back to the same situation as Arsenal fans and as an Arsenal club you know where we let players go down to the last year and we're struggling to get them out the door swapping them or letting them go for free or giving them ridiculously weight um, a lot of money because you know we can't afford to let them go and things like that 
I just don't think we can go to that situation again because it's not good enough, you know, we just need to tie our players down or get rid of them. I think that's very important, you know, same for our youth players, we, we couldn't do it with Balogun, uh, that Tilo Hart, uh, Kido Hart guy, you know, it's just not good enough, is it, with Arsenal at the moment. And we have to try and get rid of um, Lacazette now in the summer, we have to do our best to try and get rid of him. How much would he sell for? I'm thinking 20 to 25 million, if I'm honest. I don't think we'd get much more than that because he does have a year left. I think even if he had more than that, it wouldn't be much more than 30 to 35. I don't think we'd get 40 because we signed him for around 45 to 50, I believe. So I don't think we'd make a profit on him. But he has given us, what, four or five good years at the club. Five years, I think it is. Five years, is it? I can't remember. But he's given us a lot of good years at Arsenal. And I think, you know, he's scored a lot of goals. He's had, you know, one brilliant season. And then he's had a few subpar seasons. And this season, he's not doing too bad. So it's, it, he's, he's had an all right career, um, I think, Alex Lacazette. And I think it's time to go. And Roma, um, they're weighing up a deal for him. Hopefully, we can get rid of him because I think... <clears throat> Here's one we do need to get rid of in the summer to just move on and then hopefully we can just bring someone else in um, in the summer. So that is the news on Alex Lacazette that he is being linked to Roma, a possible price that could be in the region of 20 to 25 million pounds as he does enter as he is going to enter his last year of his deal. Next bit of news is on Mikel Arteta. Now, obviously, the Jean Laporte thing, we're going to get back to the Jean Laporte thing. The last two bits of news are on him. Now, Jean Laporte thing on him is um, he's obviously um, elected president and lots of reports were suggesting that he wanted Mikel Arteta as his manager. Now I did make a video on this, I talked to us on Twitter a few times, but then his right-handed man, some guy, I can't remember his name, he categorically refused that Barcelona or his camp wanted Mikel Arteta. They said that he was a great coach and a great friend of Pep's, they said that, but they didn't say, you know, they basically categorically refused that they were going to go after him. It is quite interesting because, you know, a lot of links were linking him to Barcelona over the last week and then he denied it pretty much straight away. But it's interesting to see whether they will actually try and go after him because, you know, obviously he's, he's having a bit of experience at Arsenal. Ronald Koeman is reportedly not liked by Jean Laporta and he's probably going to look to try and get maybe, I think, Xavi in or, you know, Arteta, someone, you know, younger and so, uh, some new sort of process they're going to do at Barcelona with their youth academy and things. And maybe Mikel Arteta reportedly could be part of that. It's quite an interesting prospect, but personally, I don't think it's going to happen. But again, the fact that Jean Laporte has been elected president, a lot of different things could happen. And this could be one of them that Mikel Arteta could be, you know, becoming, you know, Barcelona manager. But I don't think that's going to happen. But that is the news. You know, I'm trying to fly around because Jean Laporte has been elected president. And the next bit of news is on Felipe Coutinho. Now, again, something because of Jean Laporte's, you know, um, thing, his ideal project that what he's trying to build. What he wants is to get rid of a lot of Barcelona's high-paying earners, and one of those is Felipe Coutinho. He is earning in the excess of three hundred grand a week, which is absolutely mental. And if Arsenal were to sign him, even if it was a loan then we're gonna have to pay a lot of those wages mainly probably all of them and that's a lot of wages to pay around 300 400 grand a week but the thing is this summer we're probably gonna get linked to him again because Jean Laporta wants to get rid of him you know they wouldn't just cut their losses on him and just get him gone because of the amount of money he's earning and obviously they're in a lot of depth at the moment it's just something they want to do Barcelona now Again, I did Ronald Koeman want to keep him, apparently persuaded him to stay last summer when he was on the verge of signing for Arsenal. He got so close, but then, you know, Ronald Koeman made him stay. But it's very interesting to see what would happen this time around, whether Arsenal still want him, whether they'll go after someone like Martin Erdegaard, whether they, you, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with this situation. It, it remains to be seen. It's an interesting one, but let's just see what happens with that one. But Felipe Coutinho has been linked again. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. What do you guys think of today's topic? Do you think Bellerin will leave? Lacazette will leave? Do you think Wendouzi is the future of Arsenal? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.